The Ukrainian armed forces' humiliating breakthrough in the Kursk region has gradually exhausted its initial momentum, while the Russians' advance in Donbas has only accelerated. Ukrainian soldiers fear that the general staff simply does not have a clear plan of action, writes The Economist. The enemy has come to its senses. In the first days, the shooting was chaotic. Now we are confronted with professional artillerymen. I think from the Marines describes the situation on the Kursk front, an armored vehicle driver named Sergei, who serves in the 80th Brigade. Ukraine continues to advance, relying on electronic warfare systems and dense summer greenery. But the pace is slowing down, and the outlines of a new front line are already taking shape. If at first the Russians built fortifications on the approaches to Kursk and the Kursk nuclear power plant, preparing for the worst, now fortification work is being carried out much closer to the positions of the Ukrainian armed forces. According to a Ukrainian soldier with the call sign, Detective, the Kursk operation proved that Ukraine is capable of neutralizing Russia's numerical superiority. In his opinion, together with the deep strikes campaign against Russia, it showed what can be achieved if Ukraine's Western allies lift restrictions on the use of their weapons. But the Kursk operation failed to achieve its grand goal of distracting Russian forces from their advance on Pokrovsk. The Economist notes, Ukrainian defenses at Pokrovsk appear to be crumbling and Russia is advancing rapidly along the main railway from the east. Russia's rapid advance has highlighted the weaknesses in Ukraine's own fortifications. The author of the publication writes, It is noted that one of the main reasons for this is the lack of either defensive fortifications or people to hold them. An officer from one of the few engineering units in Ukraine believes that this problem is part of the Ukrainian culture. The general staff simply does not manage the process, and there is no plan. The difficult situation in Donbass raises questions about how Ukraine is managing its limited reserves. A Ukrainian fighter with the call sign Boatswain, who is fighting in the Kursk bulge, says that Ukraine is preparing a new stage in its operation. This is far from the last surprise for the enemy from our side, he says. Ukrainian military in the Kursk region closed the cauldron, in which about 3,000 Russian soldiers found themselves, writes Bild. Several days ago, the Ukrainian armed forces managed to occupy the village of Krasnoktyabrskoy, as a result of which the eastern border of the cauldron, which is blocked from the west by the state border, and from the north by the Syme River, was completely closed, notes Bild military observer Julian Repke, citing satellite data. According to the publication sources familiar with the situation, the area of the cauldron could be about 700 square kilometers. We are talking about an area of 20 by 35 kilometers, which was cut off from full supplies after the Ukrainian armed forces blew up three bridges over the Syme River with strikes from HIMARS systems and with the help of aviation, on August 16, 18 and 19. The bulk of the encircled Russian military is in the villages of Tyatkino and Glushkovo, a thousand in each, and another thousand are along the border, a build source indicated earlier. The cauldron was closed even though the Russian military managed to drive the Ukrainian armed forces out of the village of Koronivo, which had been under Kiev's control since August 20, along with the railway station of the same name, Repki notes. To supply the group that was under threat of encirclement, the Russian armed forces are building pontoon bridges across the Syme, which, however, are being attacked by the Ukrainian armed forces. On August 19, the crossing between the villages of Zvanoy and Glushkovo was destroyed. On August 27, the Russian military built another crossing in Zvanoy, it is located approximately 2 kilometers from the destroyed bridge across the Syme, Radio Liberty notes with reference to satellite images. At least two pontoon bridges had previously been attacked by the Ukrainian armed forces. For a full-fledged defense of the Kursk region and the return of lost territories, the Russian Defense Ministry needs about 50,000 soldiers, military analyst Yen Matveyev previously estimated. But the Kremlin has no plans to redeploy forces from the front in Donbass, where the Russian army has broken through Ukrainian defenses and, according to Deep State, has managed to seize 200 square kilometers of territory since the beginning of August, for times more than a month earlier. Conscripts will be sent to the Kursk region, Bloomberg sources close to the Kremlin previously reported.
According to Medusa's sources close to the Russian government, the fighting near Kursk will continue for several months, and this is an optimistic assessment. Putin is focused on ensuring the collapse of the Ukrainian state, after which, in his view, the issues of the territories under Kiev's control will automatically become irrelevant, says Tatyana Stanovea, a senior fellow at the Carnegie Russia Eurasia Center. While this is undoubtedly a blow to the Kremlin's reputation, it is unlikely to cause a significant increase in social or political discontent among the population, Stanovea says. A Ukrainian attack could actually lead to an increase in anti-Ukrainian and anti-Western sentiment.